guys so I uh, thought I'd come with you to you guys with a video today um, yeah so uh, one of the things um, that I remembered sorry I have a hat on it's freezing outside it's about to like snow or something so um, one of the things I remember was um, my past life so I vividly have had memories of my past life and during my abductions with the alien like I was told about my past life and I was shown um, my past life like he kind of showed me a little bit of a piece of my past life and um, I also started to remember bits of my past life after listening to um, Credo Mutua and he was talking about reptilians he was uh, David Icke actually um, had interviewed him and he had talked about the first people and Everything that was talked about, like that Credo Mundo was saying, I, I remembered many memories from my past life. Um, so, in my past life, um, I know I lived in a desert. I lived in a desert, and this desert had an ocean, and I remember um, I was with, like, my family, and uh, we all lived together, and I remember it just being us. Like, it was, there was no overpopulation, there was no crowds there was no none of that it was all natural like we lived in huts that we built we built our huts and then we had everything made naturally and um I remember we had an area where we would go to the bathroom and it was a big hole and it was dug in the ground and everybody would go in that and use rocks um everything was natural the ocean I got to swim in it a lot and swim during the day and, uh, pretty much, like, we knew how to do everything. Like, we knew how to do, um, you know, building. We knew how to do martial arts. Like, we were the first martial artist. We also, we knew how to grow vegetables, and we knew what vegetables not to eat. We avoided many vegetables. We knew were high in oxalate content and were poisonous. We knew what vegetables not to eat, like nightshades. We didn't eat those. We knew what foods to stay away from, what grain, how grains needed to be prepared, and like all this really strong ancient knowledge. We knew how to build a fire to make that fire last. Like we knew things that we never knew today. That is basically like lost knowledge is what we knew. Um, pretty much, like, we survived, and we all lived together, and, um, I remember we would go hunting, and we would get meat, and then we would, like, sit there and eat the meat, and, um, I remember we, like, built fire and all these things, and we, like, did all these different things, and, uh, yeah, I remember a lot of this, and I was, like, shown also by the reptilian, um, that when I lived in my past life, it was also in end times as well. And I guess that, um, that was when I had slayed all those reptilians in my past life. And that's why they're after me. Because what happened was me and my tribe were living peacefully. And then these reptilians came, right? And pretty much they said, like, we can do this for you if you worship as, us as gods and I can't remember what it was but they wanted to show us something or I don't know what it was I remember that they had us go through these caves and then we came out as man and woman and then I remember like we were looking at the men and we thought like their penises looked like snakes and then the men were looking at us like we looked weird so everything kind of changed from that point that was when the reptilians first came into contact with us um, and I had definitely remembered that after Credo Mutwa had mentioned that. So, after that, the reptilians started to do more and more stuff to my tribe. I remember that my tribe, during the middle of the night, one of the young boys was killed, murdered. In the middle of the night, these reptilians were coming at night, and they were sucking the brains through people's noses and taking their lives. I remember that... We had enough one day, and I remember we all said, you know what, enough is enough, and we're going to fight. And then um, I remember that's when we went and fought, and during this fought, it was, I remember just like running through the desert and fighting all these reptilians, and there were other people with me, and we were fighting and fighting them, and I remembered that. 
that was one of the biggest things I remembered, and I remember just slaying their asses, like, fucking killing them, like, like, doing all kinds of moves, and just slaying them, and I remember then after that, we had to climb up this big mountain to get to the top, and, um, yeah, there's some more memories with that, but there's a lot of memories of stuff, um, so, one of the biggest things that's hard for me is coming back in this life and to see everything that has been done to my people, to see everything that has been done to this earth, and to see that it's just almost basically destroyed. It's very, very hard being here in this modernized world as an ancient person. So when people wonder why I'm not working a job, I'm not working a job because it's not going to work. It just does not work. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work. You can't make somebody who is from an ancient life be able to work with technology and work with computers. Every job that I get has to involve technology, and that's not a part of me, and that's not a part of what I was raised with. Every day I suffer because I'm, my soul has been put here and I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a place that is foreign to me now. It's not what it was. Like earth should just be this. These rocks and cliffs and wood, that's all that it should be. It should not be anything else. It really should not. And this is why we have climate change. This is why we have pollution, like, Pretty much once I came here like and saw all this alien stuff, I, I can't even believe it. Like plastics, foils, cups, and like all this other technological stuff, like it really frustrates me and it really makes me sick. And life has been very isolating because people don't really understand me and it's really hard for me to understand other people. I don't fit in with people because I don't watch TV shows. I don't watch TV. I don't follow these celebrities. I don't follow electronics. So that's why I'm 30 years old and I'm single. That's why I don't have any friends because there's nobody I know that's like me and that thinks like me and can relate to me or understand me because I'm not technically, I'm not going to say that God made a mistake, but I kind of am going to say that he did make a little bit of a mistake putting me into this modernized world, which I don't fit in. It, it, it just doesn't work. It really just does not work. And my ancient life was the way that I want to live and how I want to be living now. But I can't really accomplish that because I can't build a tribe. I can't meet people that think the same and that want to go out into nature and live in a hut and build off nature and have zero technology, zero electricity, and zero of any of this modernized stuff. So pretty much my life is going to be, is and is and has been, and it's going to be isolated because I can't fit in this world. And I feel that this is also one of the parts that the aliens are experimenting on. They're putting people who are from an ancient life into this modernized world and it just doesn't work. And it just never has worked. It really doesn't make me happy at all. And I'm really, really unhappy. When I did talk with the alien, he did say that we will be able to return the earth to the way that it was, like to just all nature and everything. But he said that he first had to go somewhere and get some kind of tablet or something and like to be able to start everything over I can't remember what he was saying but it just was like it didn't make sense but I said is there he said oh but there's there like he's saying oh we'll never get rid of technology and it's just like I fucking hate technology I hate all technology I don't need it in my life like I sure I have this phone I have it so I can have a platform and talk to you guys but I don't need it like, I, I'm a kind of person, like, I don't need a cell phone. I don't need any of this at all. And it really is frustrating hard because I want to go deep out into nature. Like, I want to be able to survive, like, here, like, in the mountains, like, out in the middle of nowhere. 
with all nature and all natural stuff but the problem is like it's hard for me to do it on my own it's kind of hard to set up everything on my own to be able to survive the way that I was able to live back then in my ancient life because I don't have a tribe that's able to work with me to be able to build these kinds of things like I can't really there's things that I can't do like I'm that a man can do like I can't build certain things I can't really build that I mean men know how to do other kind of building things like I can do some things but there's some things I can't do and that's why I'm not able to make this lifestyle fully possible for me and why I'm stuck. I'm stuck between worlds. Like, I'm stuck between do I take the chance and risk my life and go out into the middle of nature and try to build myself this lifestyle? Or do I just keep staying here, like, where I'm having to still, like, go into the city and still live with like city stuff a little bit and still like live with this modernization that I don't want and it's hard because it's like I want to just let go of it all I don't want to go into any city I don't want to go into any grocery store I want everything out in nature but I can't make it possible by myself so it's really really hard so um I just kind of wanted to share about how frustrating it is to be stuck in a world that's not what is supposed to be for you what does not like it just does not fit for me like it does not fit and this just isn't working for me and it's clear that it's not working because everybody looks at me and they tell me to get a job they tell me do this do that do that and it's like no I'm not gonna work a job my people did not work jobs we did not work jobs we lived fully off the land and we had relaxation We were able to live a free life. Nobody's supposed to be working. Like, people don't understand that. Like, people put so much pride and so much, like, fucking ego into working. Like, they feel like if you work, like, that's what makes you. And I feel that they try to make me feel that way. That they feel like, basically, if you're not working, like, you don't have a life is what they feel like. But the thing is that my people... All we knew was survival. Survival is the only thing that's really important. And people are really going to see that soon. Like we already seen with Texas. We've seen disasters, natural disasters, where people are being brought to having to live primitive anyways. Like they had to boil snow for water to drink. Like people are having to, people are going to eventually have to resort to the primitive way of living. So it's kind of like, I don't know when this is going to happen. That's kind of why I am going to say that I kind of am excited for an apocalypse. I am kind of excited for an EMP. Like, I want all this shit to crash because I'm tired of it. And it's also not doing anything for the environment or the climate. People are becoming obese and, and all that because they're having all this stuff that's not helping them. That's not the way that we're really supposed to live. So it's kind of hard for me. And there's just a lot of frustration when, like, you see the way things are being done and it's not the way that things are supposed to be being done. It's kind of frustrating. And it's kind of frustrating when it's like, I feel like I'm the only person that maybe thinks this way. I mean, I know there's some people that think like me too, but it's just really, really hard. Like, I can't mold into this modern life. And it's like, I need God to understand this, that this just isn't working like it's not working like I am not supposed to be living with technology buildings like all these buildings and all this stuff is so ugly like to just see everything that has been done it just makes me so depressed every day so I have a lot of depression but I just kind of like hide it a little bit but yeah so I just wanted to go ahead and share this video of like um, it's just a little past life expert excerpt or whatever like I don't know just giving you a little piece of you know my past life and like why it's hard for me to live in this this new world new life whatever it is this is so hard for me and um yeah so I just wanted to share that and thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for supporting me and um I'm gonna put my info in the description box and thank you so much